<laughs> Are you excited, Don? Hey, everybody. My name is Madam F. Tyner. New joint and everything. Well, Don Juan, I got him when he was six months old. Uh, but right now, he'll be uh, eight, eight years old in June. Oh, so excited. I figured one day, about three years ago, you know, he was so sad watching me leave <laughs> that uh, I brought him with me, and he just took right to it. You ready to rock that? I brought his dog bed with. As soon as I would start playing, he would just come and lay down right next to me for the whole gig. Up, up. People love it. He loves the interaction. Uh, I love having him there with me. Uh, it makes me feel comfortable. And uh, he just eats it up. He just loves it. Matt making friends Tyner. <laughs> it hasn't always been that, I guess. It's, you know, uh, my buddy Jameson over at JMO's in Arlington, we used to work together at Mima's years ago. And we were friends, and I walked into his bar one night. There was like three or four people there, and he's like, Matt, MF Tyner. And uh, I laughed about it, but then all of a sudden, all over the east side, it just kind of stuck, and people started calling me that. And uh, as I've gotten a little bit older and playing different places, I've changed it into, you know, Magic Fingers, Mr. Fancy, and my favorite, Matt Making Friends Tyner. Waiting for the end of I'm originally from LaGrange, Illinois, just outside of Chicago, and uh, just started getting into music then, a lot of blues music. You know, came up to Wisconsin, I guess in the early 90s, and uh, traveling around a little bit on my own, uh, and picking up more of the acoustic guitar stuff, uh, getting into more of like John Prine and uh, uh, Guy Clark, uh, you know, and then the older stuff, you know, Waylon, Willie, and Cash. But when you're drunk, ain't nobody there to hear you right. I got my first guitar when I was 16. I pretty much taught myself. So you wait for a sun blow back, not like a cool breeze. You're such a fool now, can't see the forest through the trees. Started learning on my own, watching other people, going to see concerts, and uh, you know, going to different festivals and trying to talk to the guitar players that I was interested in. But along the way, I always loved that bluesy country, kind of Americana feel. I, I like Milwaukee because a lot of the musicians know each other and we can play together. So if I need to pick up a band, I've got a bunch of guitar players and some bass players and some other people I can call up and, and put it together pretty quick. Being able to sit here and, uh, and play a couple of original songs is it's such a, a wonderful feeling, but when people get into it and come up to me in between songs uh, or after a set, between sets, and tell me something specific that they heard me play, and you, you know, it's maybe cliche, but even if it's just that one person that uh, connects with you a little bit on something that you came up with all on your own, it really is a special moment, and uh, that really makes me feel really good. Mm -hmm. 